Hi, welcome to this video dedicated to the U pair one, those a new version uh, with some bug fix versus the chase version. So, uh, this video is dedicated first of all to the uh, disassembling procedure of this machine, and a second point how to install, for example, such kind of uh, micro USB uh, mail uh, connector to plug to the internal flying controlling board and uh, to uh, this, uh, for example, USB uh, female, but you can also buy directly, uh, for example, a micro USB female if you want to plug directly uh, a USB male to a uh, micro USB uh, uh, cable. So uh, the first step is to disassemble uh, all the screws, well, not all, well, but the first things to do is be sure to you have everything popped off and to uh, remove uh, the actual gimbal. Okay, so let's start. you can have a cloud up to the air gimbal connector so uh, it's an one two three four five six seven eight eight uh, 1.25 uh, mini GST connector and only the from left to right only the band one three four six and eight are connected seems that the power are from the pin one and pin eight and you have uh, also uh, three different uh, wires in uh, blue, green, in orange. Uh, most of them, I guess, to control the pitch. Okay, and the uh, wall to uh, send some uh, information uh, to the, uh, the flying controlling board. Okay, so to disassemble this machine, you have to remove uh, 26 uh, screws. So first of all, per arms, you have one, two, three, four. Five and the inner one, okay, so in total perhaps six screws multiply by four, it's uh, 24 and you will have also to remove two screws here located beneath the uh, power lead uh, plug, okay, so in total 24 plus two equal 26 screws, okay, there are the 24 first one uh, in M2 uh, X screws, okay, so let's go with an Allen key
Okay, when you finish to remove the last two screws, you can start to disassemble uh, all the package. So, uh, the main trick is to uh, remove this uh, uh, rear part to eclipse it after you will be able to release. But uh, you have to know that you will have probably to unlock some connectors. So I can see the difference, I can start to see the difference with the former Chase Edition. So unfortunately, uh, the, uh, each motors are soldered directly to the main PCB, okay? And I will start to guess what I can have. So I will completely remove the two screws still in, located in the uh, compartment. Okay, when you remove it, the trick is to look that you have a small clip there, so you have to gently pull up vertically and the upper part will be unclipped and you will be now able to release much more the uh, compartment. So the novelty here, you have now uh, some um, connector to attach the uh, uh, each LED, so I will unclip them, okay, so different from the chase version they make at least a change to okay three and last one so you have to notice okay now you are more free to free okay so here is the board and um, okay, so what are the novelty? Uh, you have the uh, receiver installed here, okay, more laterally. And uh, um, okay, can I remove the? Uh, so you can also unclip if you want the uh, uh, gimbal. So the video transmitter attachment there. So you'll be a little bit more free and uh, what is blocking is actually the two antenna laterally and then you will be able to completely uh, uh, remove everything so on the lateral you have the barometer you can eclipse if you want from the legs and then uh, this uh, video transmitter uh, connector let's go okay so I will disconnect yeah try to be more those, those side on the connector yes like this okay so the video transmitter and the remaining it should be good uh, easier easier compass so you can use a small tweezer to uh, release of the uh, com barometer no not the compass okay so I will release the connector if I can it seems a little bit blocked so maybe I will have to Okay, so now I will be able to release so the cable. Yes, and I hope it can pass through this hole. I think so. Try to force. Easy uh, antennas, which are the four gigahertz antenna here, so which is uh, currently just uh, tape. Okay, passing through, and voila, 
you have uh, this one be just be okay. okay so now I've got all the uh, electronics there so this is the rear the front and uh, actually I'm trying to look to uh, any uh, micro USB plug okay it's there this one is here I hope you will be able to see completely hidden you have a micro USB cable so maybe you can gently pull on the board but anyway so it's here okay so uh, if you need to uh, install something you will need to um, plug your USB micro USB cable here so uh, what are the mode we can do we can also I hope you can see behind this white part here you have the GPS plug okay so uh, there is oh there is a piece of AME paper that's pretty cool so they take into sandwich uh, thanks to the AME paper uh, the GPS so the interference should be limited this is why it's also fixing much faster compared to the uh, uh, Chase edition. Okay, so uh, I will try to see if it's still an APM base, but I think so. And uh, I will plug and make the mode to the uh, uh, lower. Well, I will see if it's the lower. Um, yes, I think I should install it on the lower uh, structure. Okay, or well, I will see. Okay, so as you can see, uh, you have to enter the micro USB uh, part of your cable on the uh, front uh, left of the quadcopter. And uh, well, uh, for the chase, I was installing uh, the USB plug on the left side, but as you can see now, the receiver is blocking. So probably I will install the USB connector on front. So I will uh, try to uh, let pass the USB female close to the between the GPS and the upper part of the FC and I would drill a small hole correspondingly to the uh, uh, here to the USB female and after use some old glue to fix everything okay so the uh, USB female plug is uh, um, 17 millimeters uh, by uh, 10 so I will more or less uh, apply this lens in the central part okay more or less like this here so if I'm not brown something like this okay and cut for one centimeters I will use a manual saw like this and uh, make some mark more or less approximately this for one centimeters if I would check visually oh no, really. well the central is not here this mark is not centralized so be aware but it's just an aesthetic so take the measurement to the uh, central part okay and then in the middle Something like this. So centralize here and the other. Oh, more or less. So 
I will now cut and uh, uh, with the scissors I also. Okay, so I draw the uh, external border what I have to, to sew. So now I will use this manual tools. I don't know if I will be able to, to, to do it easily, but I have to. So if you have better tools, do it. I, will. I don't have a lot of free room to cut it. Start. Okay. You can use a French or what, a, a cutter here to, to do it. But I will go slowly, and I will show after the the job. Okay. Okay, so I uh, managed to cut around, so I installed the USB uh, female connector like this to reach the limit, okay. I think I will be able to lock, to close the other uh, canopy part. And then you have to pass pin uh, as this transparent part, the USB cable in order to be able to connect to the USB uh, micro USB port. It's a little bit hard to answer the micro USB port, so uh, going gently with. Okay, so the next step is to hot glue the USB connector, okay? And, and then after you will be able to attach the micro USB, because if you're trying first to attach the micro USB, I'm afraid that this one will go away and it will be a, a forever uh, alternance between fixing this one here and try to connect the micro USB and vice versa. Okay, so here is the final result of the uh, USB modding. So now, as you can see, the USB plug is start front, well, more or less correctly, and it's working fine. So be aware, it's a little bit tricky uh, to insert the USB cable, especially you have some caps uh, close to the flying controlling boards. Uh, don't break uh, them. I uh, broke one, but I managed to resolder them. Uh, so be aware when you will insert uh, the micro USB cable, it's a little bit tricky, so okay. So uh, now I will be able to uh, connect everything and then to check out uh, the default mission planner configurations. I will show everything in another video. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye.